it's me, JC, back with another Ceramic Hour live stream. Um, let me just clean off a little bit of my table real quick. What we are working on is our um, little, it's a very small version just because I wanted to, I didn't, I've never made one of these. I just want to start off too big. So we're starting very small and it's a supposed to be a spill proof pet uh just like a food water bowl um so yesterday what we did was we trimmed the sides of it um and we are ready to add the second wall again here's a picture of what we're making um so we have like the basic like we did a pinch pot for the center and then we're going to slab roll right now a rectangle that we're going to use to wrap around it um and then that should make it easier or i guess like <laughs> i guess it, it makes it harder for like the pet to tip it over um so it's like supposed to be like spill proof um yeah, so <clears throat> let me just, I don't know, move some stuff around. This. Okay, we'll need some clay. This one's pretty. Mm. Um, no, that's maybe, I don't know, maybe not use that one. Let me just check out what I have. This one's very like wet on the outside, but um, not like so much from the inside. I don't know. That's, that one's kind of a maybe. This one's super hard. Uh, if any of these get like worse, I'm just gonna have to like throw them into the, my reclaim. Actually, I feel like this one's like the best. I really need to work with these ones because they're pretty they are getting like pretty solid um, okay maybe these will be okay okay uh, just gonna wrap that up and throw it off to the side um, let me get my little cup out and we will see how big it is. Okay, so it's like, it is like pretty small. It's very, um, I don't know. I kind of would have liked it if it was like, <laughs> it's like pretty like deep. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll trim a little bit off the top. Let me just kind of think. Okay, let me just trim like maybe a little bit off the top of it, I think. It's so deep, like, I don't know. <laughs> Where is my, here we go. This I kind of just like oh maybe we'll make it like as tall as this maybe okay let's try to make it like this size and then we will just reassess <clears throat> I'm just kind of like marking out a line and we're just gonna jab right in there and cut it off um okay just give me a second i'm like i'm focusing like so hard right now <laughs> oops okay i really just like drew a line basically and now we're like actually cutting through it. Okay. Do 
a little bit of sawing motion. Just cut the rest off of there. And I'm just gonna throw this back in my reclaim bucket. Okay, that feels a little bit better. Again, it is going to shrink a bit. Not sure how much, but it is gonna shrink a little bit once it is uh, fully dried and then once it um, goes to the kiln twice. Um, I just want to fix the sides of this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, like a teensy bit. I suppose we'll um, really just kind of like assess the shape of the side or like the um, right here at the rim once we are attaching that second wall. Okay, I've never done this before, so I'm not really sure, like, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. All right. I don't know. It just kind of bothers me when it's, like, really chunky. Okay, we're just going to set this off to the side. Let me scoop up these little clay bits. We don't want that on our work surface. Um, let me get a little bit of water. I just like to add a little bit of water to the wedging board uh, before we start wedging because uh, right here, my wedging board is a, it's just a like square or whatever of wood with canvas stapled to it and the canvas will grab water from our clay and it will dry it out a little bit. So I just try, I'm, I'm just kind of like trying to counteract it. You don't want to add too much water because it's going to like really grab at the clay and make it stick and you don't really want that either. <clears throat> so just kind of smush it together first. Try to get like one solid chunk. No. Okay. I'm not sure if this bit of clay is too dry. So once we start wedging, I'll be able to tell. But right now it's I don't know. It's really like it's if it's not too dry, it's very close to it. So let me just see. And let me just kind of like do it a little bit to really like intermix those two um, bundles of clay that we put together here. Okay, I think it might be okay. This is <clears throat> certainly not something you would use for throwing. You, I think you want it to be a bit more wet. <clears throat> I think it might be okay for a slab. Hopefully that is enough. And I'm just kind of try to make this some sort of uniform shape. Okay. 
just want a very a very long rectangle um I suppose I could like maybe like roll this into a cylinder so can I do weird things on the side though maybe Yeah, it's getting kind of like a hole there. We don't really want that. So I'm just gonna keep making that hole. Let me see. Okay, we don't really want the hole. <laughs> it's kind of like doing it on both sides now. not really like I don't know I'm not really like the best at like slab building <laughs> I really do like wheel throwing if you don't know that <laughs> um let me think I, I don't know um I don't know let's try to do quarters and like roll those out and see how that goes. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to like smoosh this into kind of like that cylinder shape. Let me think. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be okay, maybe. Um, they're definitely going to be, like, attachments happening. Uh, we're going to have to, like, attach, like, the different, like, sides together. I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm wondering like how thick we should make these. I mean, we don't really want like that thick because we're gonna like, we're not really gonna be able to trim it. I mean, we kind of could trim it, but I don't know. I feel like this is good. So let's do the same thing with another one. I just know like that's not gonna wrap all the way around our little pinch pot. Okay. It's still a tiny bit um, taller than this other one. 
I want to make sure not to hit the other one <laughs> while I'm rolling it out. Okay, let's check that. I think we could just do like a third pass over all of them. This one is like so tapered over here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use it. <laughs> we'll see. I've never done this before, okay? <laughs> Okay, let's go like a little bit this way, like a little bit taller. Probably should have done that earlier, but. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's like about that same size. Let's just do. Let me look at this. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I think we can get some kind of angle out of this. I don't know, I'm just like worrying if it's like too short. Um, let's leave the last one and if we need to roll it out, we can. It's best to not roll it out because rolling it out is like really drying the clay out. Um, actually, okay, so let's do like a third one and like see if we can roll all three of these to the same height. I mean, I think they're pretty, they're all pretty close. Okay. And, um, let me just put that off to the side. What we're gonna do next is compress the clay. So mm, compress it with my rib here. I just wanna clean that off a little bit. And we're just gonna go across these in a few different directions on both sides. Um, We're gonna do like, we're gonna do it on um, multiple times on both sides. I don't know if it matters like at what point you flip it, but I don't know. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> And this step is really important. You don't want to forget it because your clay is going to crack if it's not compressed. Okay, I think that one might be good. Now I have to do it with all of them though. Let me just say, it gets a little bit rough if you have clay on the rib while you're doing it. So I kind of try to rub some of that off when it gets stuck. Okay, maybe that's good. I don't know if there really is like anything like specific to know like how many times you should go over it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's 
So I just do it like quite a few times and really just try to smooth out anything. Sometimes you'll have little, uh, I mean, there are a lot of cracks on here right now. Um, yeah, you can see them. So I really like all of these, I'm smoothing all those out for sure. Um, and then if you do have any air bubbles you want to, I mean, you probably want to pop them and fix that up. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I don't like from at least a couple of like slab building videos that I've watched, I haven't heard anyone say like particularly like how many times you should go over like each side or anything <laughs> they're just like we're compressing the clay now <laughs> or they might not even like say that they might just do it and then like not even like mention like <laughs> why they're why they're like running across it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> this is why i want to put out like uh videos like this to like uh, like help people um do ceramics because there's I don't know there's not a ton out there for learning about ceramics um other than you know the typical like <laughs> go to classes at a university or a ceramic studio I, you know just like more stuff that's like a little bit more uh, learning on your own there's not a ton out there like um this is not an ad or anything. I'm not getting paid to say this, but um, I do uh, use Skillshare and I like to check out the videos that they have on there. The last time I checked, which would have been a year ago, um, but the last time I checked, they really did not have very many ceramic videos. Um, and like, I don't know, I kind of, I trust a little bit more of like what people are saying on Skillshare than maybe random like YouTube people. Okay, you know what? I've just realized I feel like this probably should have been like cut in some sort of curve shape. I have no idea what, to, I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've, I really have no idea. Okay, we're good. Okay, um. <laughs> okay, at the least, um, this edge is very um, cracked. So at the very least, we're going to cut that off right now. And then let's see if we can cut this to shade. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I try so many new things on the stream and I literally have no idea what <laughs> we're doing. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> So let me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'm fiddling with it. <laughs> um, yeah. What I don't want to do, I mean, I think, um, what could happen is like, um, like slicing like lines down these and then that would give it more of a curve. And then like what you'd have to do is like add clay in those pieces. Annoying. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to do that. 
That's really, I don't know, I think that's like... <laughs> Is that what makes the most sense right now? I think that's what makes sense. So, let's just see uh, how this goes. So like, if... <clears throat> I'm, I'm just trying to like, I don't want to cut like too many slices. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I suppose it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Either this is going to work or we're going to have to scrap it or something. Okay. So this part's definitely too tall. So sort of it. Um, it's really like bowing right here. I don't really like that. But sort of like something like this is like what I'm thinking of. Um, Maybe not such a steep angle, though. It's kind. It's hard because like the clay is obviously not like stiff and like dry, you know. Um, so it's just, it really just is like <laughs> just bending all over the place. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Is this something we can... I don't know. I, can't, I kind of feel like that it needs to be like a really... Um... Like, what's the right word? Um, like, I feel I think it would need to be like really curved, but I'm not really entirely sure. Like, yeah, like something that's like this. Um, yeah, like that actually looks a lot better right now. Um, so like something kind of like that. Roughly gonna chop off, I'm mean, chopping off the, um, it's very rough edge on the side here. it's not like that bad I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of a curve can you see like how it's like it's very slightly curved it's not bad I mean it kind of works have to <laughs> fix up the rim <laughs> a little bit <laughs> um okay so I think that means we would cut this one out of like kind of like in the same same shape i don't know what i'm doing i'm just hoping i'm just doing something hoping for the best okay let me just like i'm just putting these in my reclaim right now
Well, let's see how this looks. Yeah, this is definitely the moment to like get the banding wheel out. Let me just get this real quick. Okay. So this is um, a good um, almost like cross section of what we're trying to do. Okay, yeah. I like I would prefer it to have a little bit more of an angle but I'm scared to like ruin it <laughs> um <laughs> I don't know I, I really hate starting over but let's like let's roll this out and see how that goes <laughs> let's like maybe try to do a little bit more of a curvy shape How are we gonna roll this into a curved shape? <laughs> I'm like, I'm really struggling today. It's really whenever we do something that I've never done before, obviously, like, I have no idea what to, no idea what is going on. I don't know, I'm gonna like push it into a curved shape, I guess. <laughs> We're just gonna see what happens. Oh, there's a very large air bubble in here. Okay, I'm hoping that was popped. You wanna pop them as soon as you can because, um, <clears throat> um, now, like, since we're still rolling the clay out, it will have, like, um, it can like fill up that little crevice that's in there. We've got another air bubble over here. Oops. Okay, I think that's about how thick we want it. And now we're going to compress this bit.
Okay, let's check the other side. There's a little bit of cracking over here. I just want to like, like try to smooth that out. And the, okay, I think this is probably good. See, it was good that we did not roll this out earlier. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um. Okay, so let me just arbitrarily cut this into some circular shape and hope for the best. I think probably ideally you would do this in paper first. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and see how that goes. Okay. Um. Um. It's very tall. Um. Let me just quickly cut off any of this. Um, really uneven excess at the bottom here. Okay, let me just do another pass and grab a little bit more um, over in the middle-ish. There's still a little bit that's like still cracking. Okay. Okay, let's just kind of like see what that looks like. I think we need like more, like a, I think we need like a deeper circle. I don't want to like go like too crazy um, with the first pass, so we're just gonna see how this looks. <clears throat> like I think this is a good angle. Um... <laughs> how can we get the whole thing to do that? I don't know. Let's just like cut more of it, I guess. I think that's working better. Okay, if we could just fill this area, and then obviously this large gap, um, and then also like over here, that would be great. I don't know, I wonder, can we use what we have over here? I don't know if like, How much we can cut off of this? It looks like mm. I don't like Frankenstein things together, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see if it's gonna work. Let me just rough this up and <laughs> we're gonna attach it to this one. <laughs> see how this goes. Grab some water for the attachment. I think it just needs to be like a tiny bit, um, a tiny bit like taller. So I'm just pushing them together and then wiggling.
like I've mentioned in my past videos, when you're doing any kind of attachments, what you want the clay to do is you don't want the clay to be doing this, like this, or whatever, like this. What you want it to do is do this and really grab, like both pieces are grabbing and like really interlocking with each other. That's what you want. Um, so just a lot of pushing um, these two pieces together and just kind of like some wiggling happening. Let's just kind of, I don't know, <laughs> smooth out this like line that's here. Um, and then some of that, the very, um, obviously like the very, very top layer of clay that's on them is doing more of that like interlocking that I showed with my hands. So let's do that. We're just gonna chop off this extra bit. It's just gonna be like in the way. Okay, I mean it's definitely too tall right now, but um, I think like this length will probably cover what we need here. <clears throat> so, other than like this bit here that needs to be covered, It's like <laughs> not really sure like how to figure out like how much we need. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is such a struggle. <laughs> um okay. Well we definitely don't want like these like rounded areas either though. I think the part where it touches the table or whatever. It's about here, so I think that's where we'll cut it, at the least. Um, depending on how much we have to use on uh, this thing, we can just like extend it further in, but I'm just gonna cut right here for the moment. Same with the other side too. It touches the table over here. Oh, you know, I probably should be throwing these in the reclaim yet. We might be able to use them. Oh my god. Where did I get clay in my hands? <laughs> okay. I feel like it doesn't entirely make sense to use this as a template to cut out here because it's not really quite even the sh like exact shape that we want. It's like pretty close, but like this tapering over here is a little bit much. I don't know, I guess that's what we'll do. I just like how it's like nice and like set up. Um, Uh, let's see. Put that off to the side. Okay. 
Okay, so that tapering indicates that the sides needs to have a little bit more. And I'm just gonna cut that off. We're gonna fix how these two pieces pieces attach to, so. Okay. Okay, I think that is kind of like what I'm looking for. I hate taking it off and then putting it back. Like it, it's like in a really good spot. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm just kind of guessing how to cut it. Let me, like, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to try to cut this so that they've like f actually fit together. This angle is right. Um, what needs to happen? I think this needs, I think the top needs to be trimmed. No, that's not quite right either, really. Oh my gosh, I thought we were almost there. Oh my gosh, I think the bottom needed to be trimmed. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Yeah. Pretty sure we we're supposed to trim the bottom earlier. It's fine. It's working. It's working, I, I think. We're just going to have to patch up a few things. Okay, I'm going to be very careful and try not to trim too much. I hate any kind of patchwork that needs to happen because, like, when we're connecting the pieces, like, that is just an area that has so much potential to crack so like the less of that that needs to happen is great the least whatever <laughs> okay i'm not sure if that angle looks quite right over here um, i think it's maybe drooping a tiny bit Okay, I'm gonna cut this a little bit. Okay, and this is like what we want, basically. Mm. 
I'm just trying to take a look at it. Okay, so... Um, it's definitely not perfect. Um, <sighs> hmm. I don't know, like, it, I mean, I think, like, ideally you would let it dry a little bit more before attaching it. Um... But I don't really see, I'm not sure like how we would dry it to like keep that, keep all of these um, angles. Totally sure, like how we're gonna attach it to all this. Okay, um, let me smooth this out a little bit. And then, I don't know. We're gonna try to attach it. And I don't know, I, I guess I'm just gonna like scrape this up a bit. Can you want to, let me grab some more water. Okay. Let's just add some water to the sides of our pot. Um, because we're not really going to be able to get to this when we attach it. So we don't want it to be too dry. Um, when you're making attachments, they are ideally um, the same like moisture level. But since we made this pot yesterday, um, it's not the same. <laughs> it's um, so it's a little bit drier. Um, okay, so let's. I guess we're just gonna kind of smush it around in here. Um, and try, 
<laughs> to get it at the right angle. I think when we dry it, we could do this at least. And try and make it a, like a little bit uniform and not so wobbly. This part is definitely a little bit too, um, <laughs> needs some more clay in there. The rest of this isn't looking that bad. Okay, um, I wonder if this clay is a little bit, I don't know if it's too dry. Mm. Let me fix this up. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit too dry. Um, let me just open up my clay bag real quick and I'm going to get some fresh clay. Okay. I'm just going to like smush this right in here <laughs> and hope that is fine again this is <laughs> this is not proper proper technique this uh like if we had problems over here <laughs> 
like a giant crack that was like about this long. I know uh, what went wrong. Like, but we're just, I don't know. We're just hoping for the best and I'm gonna see what we get. <laughs> I hope that smoothing this out is going to kind of compress it in a way, but I really have no idea. I'm really hoping that it's going to be fine. This was a long journey. I'm not going to be surprised if this piece starts cracking and needs to be scrapped, but I don't know. It's a... Uh, I... Uh, I don't know if I would say we learned anything. <laughs> um, uh, but this is what we have. We have our little thing here. And I'm going to try to fix this outer wall. I don't want it to be like bowing out in a weird way. Um, and then I'm going to I'm gonna have to trim it probably in a few areas. Um, but yeah, this is like what the bottom looks like. Bottom and then didn't, probably, I don't know. No, I guess that's fine. Um, something that I'm not sure if I want to do is possibly um, like cover this. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want to cover it or not. That would definitely make it a lot easier to clean. Or, I mean, possibly what we could do is just put clay into the bottom of this crack and then just like make a very soft, uh, like bevel to it so that you don't have like this very like deep crack to have to clean. That's definitely like one of the things that I'm thinking about with this. But otherwise, uh, here is our pet bowl. Uh, it looks like, it looks fine. <laughs> if it dries fine is a completely different story. I have no idea, but <laughs> this is what we have. Um, I don't know what I want to do for the thumbnail because I feel like the bottom part is really important to like see like what the heck is going on. Um, we will see. Um, anyway, well, uh, that is our stream for today. Thank you so much to anybody watching on Twitch. Be sure to follow along so you know when I hop on for another stream. Um, streams happen weekdays from 1 to 2 p.m. Pacific time. Um, and then all of the, all the videos are uploaded to YouTube at Callie and Co. Uh, into our stream archive playlist. Um, because they get deleted off Twitch after like a week. And, uh, on, uh, on YouTube you can find uh, some other videos besides the stream. We have um, a few like ceramic tutorials. I'm working on making more. Um, there are a few tutorials. Um, some things for like small handmade businesses. Um, and just kind of like other like topics for just kind of any artist really. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to make more YouTube videos. Um, like those, not just uploading things from the stream. Um, working on it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I suppose we will finish this on Monday. Unless it has, like, a huge issue. 
Like, if there's just, like, a giant crack that appears in between that time, um, I think I'm going to think about what we're going to do for the bottom. And we're just going to kind of touch it up a little bit, uh, basically. And then if everything is going well, then we'll be done with it. Um, yeah. All right. So I will see you guys on Monday. All right. Bye.